All right, another lovely day. It is snowing really hard outside, so we're gonna get in the garage and just share with you guys what we have coming up. Bunch of stuff in here, so let's talk about it. channel guys today we're gonna to talk all about our next steps and going into our next build which is the Honda Grom behind me as you can see here this was actually a show bike a really nice bike my guess uh, has sold it and I since bought it so it's kind of moved around in the community but used to show it and for my purposes it is now going from a show bike to a <laughs> a monster of a build so I'm super excited about this one a little bit different from how we've done in the past. All of my setups used to be a mid-drive. So essentially what we have is a drivetrain. You have your motor that would sit right here, a chain or a belt of some sort, and then you would go back to the rear wheel. So what we're going to do on this next build is do a hub build. So a little bit different. You don't essentially have any sort of drivetrain whatsoever. And that allows me to open up this more area in here for all batteries. So you know, some people hate that, some people love it. It depends who you ask, but for my purposes, I want a bike now that can make power, but also allows me to have that range. And with the mid-drive setups, while I do have that initial torque that's amazing up front, I just don't get that without having the extra battery space, the range aspect. So we're gonna transform this. I'm gonna piece by piece rip this thing apart, uh, part it out. So if you guys need any parts, let me know. And that's kind of where this build is going. Another thing I'm gonna do on this build that's gonna be quite a bit different is because it does have the hub motor in the rear, this is essentially going to be all battery space. So I'm gonna keep the general outline that I had of the other build. It sits pretty low, a different suspension though, because I don't wanna hit the front fender like I always do on the pink bike. And the battery is gonna sit about flush to where it did before and go pretty much from here all the way up just gonna be a black box essentially. And I already quoted it all out. It should sit anywhere from 100 to 140 amp hour, which equates, again, I'm using mid drive equation here roughly. And everyone has told me that the hub motor is a lot more efficient, so we'll see. But based off of my mid drives, 130 amps should get me anywhere from 120 to 150 miles of riding. That is like perfect for a Grom. So I'm super excited to see exactly how that plays out. But, oh man, just the thought of that, because really, I mean, any of you guys that have ridden electric, it really just boils down to range anxiety. When you get to a certain point, you're like, all right, I need to go back. And if I can have that aspect of go back out of my mind, no brainer. And I think everyone's kind of with me on that as well. I initially stayed away from hub builds as a whole because largely I like the sound feedback of having your motor, the chain, just all that working together. If you're going to have a silent bike, it allows me to have something that gives me some sort of feedback. But everyone and their mom has been telling me, hey, do a hub build, do a hub build. So I figured why not something different. If you've been following the page for a while, I appreciate it. If not, you're new here, make sure you sub to the channel. We've done uh, Grom swaps every generation. So the SF, the OG, Gen 3, I've done Ruckuses, uh, the quad, the mini quad. I have another mini quad to swap this one. Um, I also have another build that I wanna do a mid drive that's kind of contained on the rear swing arm. So, you know, all these different ideas as we kind of make and sell, make and sell, it's a business. So. It allows me to kind of get creative and make some new stuff. So I appreciate everyone that's kind of been along on the process and doing stuff a little bit differently as we grow and expand our horizons and learn a lot more about the craft because now I'm starting to add more power and learn a lot more about tuning. And the last bike that I built, the pink one, would be about 20, I think it was 24 horsepower. And then we bumped that up. So now it should sit around 36 horsepower, 37. And then the goal with this hub build is to sit 50 to 60 horsepower. And on a Grom, just ungodly. Like you don't need that, but for science, <laughs> but for science. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. And honestly, kind of a shame that we're gonna tear this bike down because it's beautiful. But at the end of the day, it kind of allows me to 
expand on what this bike is since it was in the community and from a good friend of mine and it also allowed me to bring out the best of what I can offer for it and add to the community in a sense of something that's a little different in the hub builds itself. So I'll take you guys around the bike just show you more what it's all about. So we do have a two-piece machine machine wheels. They're really nice but I say this one's a little buggered up. The chain is because it does have the airbags on the back. It would slap quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it clear enough in video. It is chewed up a little bit, but somebody's gonna get a good deal on those when we sell them, so that'll be awesome. Bunch of carbon fiber bits. I think what I might do is swap these over to the pink bike and then sell the pink bike with these plastics because I love the pink plastics, so I might just swap those on to this once it's done. And this is the hub motor. If you guys aren't familiar with what hub motors are, they're really fascinating. Essentially, inside here, you have a giant coil, and that is your electric motor, and then this whole wheel spins. The axle stays stationary, just like it would on a normal bike, but the wheel itself spins, and that's why there's the seals on there and the bearings and everything. Kind of wicked. So all these phase wires come up the swing arm. It'll be nice to organize those. I did print these little 3D printed tabs. I'm obviously gonna make them out of black, but they make it look nice, super excited about that. And then also, one of the other things I was gonna do was run this aftermarket swing arm. This is generally what they use in Asian countries, the three bar. It's really strong and you can get it to different lengths that you want. However, I very quickly realized that this on a Grom just won't look right. I don't know, something about, let's see if I can set this up here. You can imagine that, just because it's so thick and kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't match the way I would want to on the Grom. So I opted not to go that route. So it's available if anyone wants that during the electric swaps, but I'm gonna adapt the factory swing arm similar to how this bike is. Now it's got the Chimera rear blocks, but I'm essentially going to mill my own blocks so that those come in and hold the hub motor. So we'll see, it's, it's gonna be a work in progress, but I'll obviously post it all up so you guys can see the whole thing. Next video, we're gonna rip into this. It'll be a good time and just kind of start transforming it to where we want it to be. Such a clean bike. Yeah, this is a really non-traditional video for how I normally like to do things because I like to show a lot more progress, but I figured it'd be nice to share with the world kind of where we're at and the steps that we're going to build this hub build. And then the ruckus that just got done in the last video, I still got to get it out on the road. But first, I have to replace those bushings because obviously those are 3D printed. I'm still waiting on those in the mail, but once those are on, we're good to test ride. Thing came out really nice. Really happy with it. But anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one. If you have any questions about this build, let me know. Like I said, 50 to 60 horse. It's gonna be wicked. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.